goes off. Let's try full. No, not that. <laughs> Recently I tried this speed controller while using a Makita die grinder to port some cylinder heads and it worked pretty good. But it was suggested after that I try two speed controllers in series and that's what we're going to try for this video. Over here I have a second speed controller. Now, I got this one off of Amazon, and the first one from my local Menards. But I believe you can get them at various places like Harbor Freight and so on. You can see right here, this one, the first one says Power Tool Electronic Speed Controller. Well, this one says Fan Speed Controller. But they look pretty much the same on the boxes. Out of the boxes, they are slightly different. You can see the yellow sticker is on a different side. And what I can notice right away is the dials are two different sizes. Otherwise, they are pretty dang similar. They both have a belt clip on the back and so on. They also come with, you know, pretty similar pretty similar instructions. They're just, you know, rearranged slightly, but they have the same information in them, so. Being that I also read that if you stall an electric tool, you burn it up. Unlike air tools, where you can stall them over and over again. I think I'm going to try this, you know, these controllers in series on a cheaper tool than my Makita die grinder. Over here, I have a... Harbor Freight $10 angle grinder. So we'll give that a shot because it's already on this clutch stand. So it's kind of, you know, can be independent. I won't have to hold on to it. So, you know, like last time where I tried the <laughs> Makita by just flipping it on and it jumped around. Not a good idea. Anyways, give me a second here and I'll get that set up and we'll give it a shot and see if two makes a difference. Okay, I just tried it out, but before we get to the results, I just want to say thank you to who suggested this. It was interesting. I mean, it's something that I, when I, as soon as I read it, I was like, you know, I want to try that. It's cheap enough to try. I'm sure there's other people that are curious as well. So here's what I found. I went ahead and <clears throat> hooked the controllers in series, and I tried it out on the Harbor Freight, you know, cheap Joe Master $10 angle grinder on my clutch mini chop saw, which by the way, I like this mini chop saw, although not with this angle grinder, it shakes like a crazy, so I don't suggest it with this one, you see I got clamped to the table, I originally had that one, and that one needs to go back on, so anyways, you know, we're getting sidetracked, back to the controllers, when you turn it on, and this one is already on, by the way. You see right here? And I got turned down. That's what happens. You get some clicky, click, 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 clack. You go full speed. And it works. But it works just the same as if you had one of these. So two controllers does not work and I went ahead and tried it with that angle grinder the Makita die grinder and they both did that clickety clack whatever or ran full out so I mean well ran as slow as one would set them and I tried playing with the dial and it did work if I turn it up which I'm not gonna do right now because it's loud as heck but it really was it wasn't it wasn't making a difference it was just there's something about two controllers that does not jive. So, there it is. I hope this helps. Like I said, it was interesting. It's something I, I, you know, I read it and I had to try it. I mean, it was just one of those things that, why not? Like I said, it was cheap. There it is. Um, oh, before I forget, next time I'm going to try out this Metabo die grinder. You know, do maybe a little unboxing and, you know, 
quick, you know, tests and trials and so on. So check that out if you're interested. You know, go ahead and you know, like and subscribe and comment and you know, let me know what you think. I mean, if I was the 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 the, the I don't know the smarty pants scientific type, <laughs> you know, someone technical, I would take apart the boxes and probably try and you know you know, soldering my own resistors and whatnot. So, but I'm not, you know, they work good enough for what I want to do. They slow it down enough and you know, that's good. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Keep it real.